Welcome everyone to Change Pace Poetry number 51. My name is Leland Jamieson. I'll read uh, three poems again this time. Three is one of my favorite numbers. It has a beginning, a middle, and an end. Uh, these three poems are a little longer than some of the others I've recently read. The first is called Sink Hole. It is written in narrative couplets, used to be called uh, heroic couplets. And um, with more, no more uh, to do, I'll uh, simply read it. Sinkhole. He needs to sniff his PJs, sheets, or sweats, said Chip, the bloodhound handler. Since he wets most every night, they're in the wash, she said. Then shoes or socks, a bathrobe, jacket, bedside carpet, where he climbs in, in bare feet. The bloodhound, Gus, looked like he'd like red meat. Thus she and Paul, her neighbor and attorney, set off behind the dog and chip. Odd journey. <clears throat> they hiked past sycamore, live oak, and pine all shagged with Spanish moss, not yet a sign. Chest high palmetto with its rattlesnake engulfed her heart with fear and made it ache. Ahead, Gus plunged nose down into the scrub. Chip stumbled, snapping fronds, a great hubbub, while Paul and she stood waiting at the road. The sun bore down its overbearing goad. Thanks, Paul, for your great help, the dog and all. So sad, he's drifted downhill since last fall. It is sad, Ellen, seeing him unwell. I'm glad to help. For you, this must be hell. She looked away and blinked at gnats and tears which fluttered there among her many fears. A far-off siren wailed, drew closer, died. Ambulance. Slowing, it stopped at their side. Paul Chips found Mr. Peak. He's fair, but weak. That's great, Jack. This is Mrs. Ellen Peak. How do, Miss Peak? By radio, Chip said he seems confused, not quite in his right head. Exhausted, scratched his face and hands. He fell. No broken bones, as far as he can tell. He's in the bottom, a hundred yards in there. We'll bring him out, Miss Peak. Don't you despair. This next poem is on a much lighter note. It's called Ginger Snaps, Darjeeling. It's a sonnet, English sonnet. The sensuous scents worn by those moms, the dense, sweet aftershave on dads, tables just lemon waxed, live palms, Perhaps had put on edge the lads and lasses who sat down to play recitals on the concert grand. When you sat down and struck an A, your memory held its cap in hand. I'll start with movement two, you said, and played it plus the third quite well. Then found the first deep in your head, or fingers muscled citadel. You played that flawlessly with feeling, and quit recitals, snaps, Darjeeling. I should have mentioned that was written for my son when he was a tender age. Um, here's another one written for him when he was a little bit older. Just past 18, 
your best friend is a lass on horseback you see farrier in your glass you mope about and hunger for the skills you need a pickup truck and twenty bills to go to west virginia farrier school so you and aunt and we chip in a pool returning home you're thrilled no more aloof your pickup's capped a chimney thrusts its roof you sooty farrier dance around its rear by anvil stocks of iron coal forge gear while old time anthracite ascends our skies above your rippling forearm gleaming eyes <clears throat> you clang out glowing shoes at pony sheds but learn real money's earned on thoroughbreds a race horse farrier says it's no black hole and i can school you so you learn control of any flighty high-strung winning horse first day you're stunned in shock you flee the course we walk and talk till you let out your blues this guy's so gross designs corrective shoes makes champions on the derby winners seem controls the horses with the hammer's peen you swallow back the tears but outrage prods he whacks a filly's flank a stallion's cons this wouldn't be change based poetry if i wasn't uh, somewhat unprepared and also uh, if I didn't tell you that all this material, archives of both the videos and the printed texts that are read here are available on jamiesonspoetry.com. So if you'd like to look at the forms, we had uh, two narrative couplets and a sonnet. Uh, that's the place you can see how they're worked out. And of course, ability to read the lines will help you with my poor accent. So that's all there is for today. I uh, hope to see you next time. Thank you.